Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'll guide you through the process of installing Kali Linux version 2023.4 seamlessly on VirtualBox. Whether you're on Windows 10 or the latest Windows 11, this tutorial has got you covered. Let's dive in. To begin, open your Chrome browser and search for VirtualBox. Click on the first link, which will direct you to virtualbox.org. From there, locate the download button on the left-hand side and click on it to access the download page. Currently, VirtualBox is available for Windows hosts, Mac OS, Linux, and various other operating systems. Let's proceed by selecting Windows Host, which will initiate the download of the latest VirtualBox version compatible with Windows. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, you'll also need to get the VirtualBox extension pack. Simply scroll down and you'll find the VirtualBox extension pack option right there. Click on All Supported Platforms and the download should start automatically. Now we need to download Kali Linux, open a new tab, and go to Kali.org. Click on Download. Currently, there are two methods available for installing Kali Linux. One option is to utilize the installer image, while the other involves using the pre-built virtual machine image. If your priority is to swiftly set up your Kali Linux environment, I suggest opting for the virtual machine image, which comes with everything pre-configured. However, if you prefer a more hands-on approach and want to customize your installation from scratch, the installer image is the way to go. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to, to utilize the installer image with your preferred settings. If you want, use the pre-built virtual machine image, click on the card above or refer to the video description, I also made a video on that. Next, we'll initiate the installation of Kali Linux using the ISO file, allowing us to customize settings such as disk size and host name. This process grants you immediate access to Kali Linux, empowering you to make adjustments and pursue your desired activities. Let's navigate to the Linux download page. Instead of opting for virtual machines, we'll choose the installer image, enabling us to manually install and configure Kali Linux to our preferences. Click on Installer Images to proceed. Next, locate and select Kali Linux Installer 64-bit to initiate the download. Since I already have this file downloaded, I'll cancel it. Ensure you download it before proceeding. Afterward, we can close our browser and return to our download folder. Our first step is to install VirtualBox. Double-click on it. Proceed by clicking Next, then Next again, followed by selecting Yes twice, and finally clicking on Install. All right, VirtualBox installation is complete. Now simply uncheck this box and click Finish. After completing the VirtualBox installation, return to our download folder. Now it's time to install the extension pack. Simply double click on the VirtualBox extension pack file. This action will open it within VirtualBox. Once prompted to install the extension pack, click on Install, scroll down to accept the terms, and proceed with the installation. To confirm the successful installation, simply click on the VirtualBox icon located on the side, then navigate to Extensions. You'll find the extension pack right there. Now. Let's return to the welcome page. Let's create a new virtual machine by selecting New. Now let's name it Kali Linux 2023.4. Set the type to Linux. Choose Linux 2, 6 thirds, X and 4, X, 64 bit as the version, and proceed to the next step. The base memory right here refers to our RAM, which we're about to allocate to this virtual machine. It's important not to allocate more than 40%, as doing so could slow down your host computer. The same principle applies to the processor. Next, let's configure the virtual hard disk that will be dedicated to Kali Linux. I'll assign it a size of approximately 50 GB, but feel free to allocate more if needed. Once done, click Next, and then Finish. All right, let's make some adjustments to our virtual machine setup. First, navigate to Settings, and then head over to the System tab. 
Your base memory corresponds to your RAM, which you can modify as needed along with the processor settings. Next, move to the display section. Here, I recommend increasing the video memory to 128 MB and enabling 3D acceleration for optimal performance. Now, on to storage. Under the IDE controller, you'll find an empty disk. Simply click on it, then right, click on the disk icon and select Choose a Disk File. Navigate to your Download folder and select the Kali Linux version 2023.4 installer ISO file that we downloaded earlier. Once selected, click Open. All right, now we're ready to kick off the installation process. Click on Start to begin. We'll opt for the graphical install, so hit Enter to proceed. Let's get started. Begin by selecting the language for the installation, then proceed. Follow by setting your country and region and continue. Additionally, set up your keyboard and continue. Next, if applicable, enter your host name and continue. Don't forget to set the domain name and continue. Provide the full name for the user and continue. Continue by entering the username for logging in and setting a password. Let's proceed. Now set your time zone, then proceed. Next, we'll opt for guided use entire disk, allowing automatic disk partitioning. Your drive should appear here, then proceed. Choose to keep all files in one partition and continue. Complete partitioning and apply changes to the disk, then continue. Confirm by selecting Yes to authorize writing changes to the disk and continue. It's important to note that these changes won't impact your main drive. They'll only apply to the drive designated for the Kali Linux virtual machine on VirtualBox. So rest assured your system files remain untouched. Now we'll patiently wait for the base system to install before selecting our preferred desktop environment. I'll stick with XFCE for now, but feel free to choose Genome or KDE Plasma if you prefer. Let's proceed with XFCE. Now select Yes to install Grub Bootloader to our primary drive and then continue, and then select our drive shown here. Continue and we are done with the installation. Now let's close this, power off the machine. Now we go to Settings, Storage, and you can see the image file has been removed. Click OK and then Start. Successfully installed, now we can log in with our username and password. Um, so basically this is how to install Kali Linux, which is at the moment of shooting. This video was version 2023.4, but of course, same steps applies to the upcoming versions. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.